Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivor's Best Week 279. We are continuing to be beating every stage with every character as we start out the fifth wave. It is going to need a bit of an explanation before we can officially start it out. First, I'm sealing off some weapons and passives I do not want seen. I've already done a few. But let's get rid of Pentagram because I don't want to deal with Pentagram whatsoever because the stipulations I have are going to be brutal. But really, it's just those ones and a couple passes that are crap. So, what does the fifth wave entail? Well, it's back to Antonio. Back to co oppin but we're not picking Imelda. Yes, that's right. It's doing it based on the stage this time. I'm going to have these four go to Inlaid Library, and then for the next one, Antonio on Dairy Plant with three other characters. It could be completely different or the exact same. And here we are in the stage. The stage so high, so high, so far away. And I will be moving these other controllers off to the side, occasionally hitting A, and only controlling Antonio. That's right, I have one character who's going to go through five stages with the three closest characters who haven't beat said stages. And sort of backfill it that way. The other three will not be controlled by me whatsoever, aside from hitting A to stop them from turning off occasionally, and then forgetting about that and having it pop up and be really annoying. It's all still going to be random because, well, random. I need to do something to give me a thing it. That's why I sealed out the passives. Needed to make sure I kept some of them around. Of course, I thought I was going to Mad Force, so that's why I had Hollow Heart or. Didn't banish something like Clover. I don't know why. But that's just me being silly and dopey. It's also nice to only have one character. Now this would normally mean that I'm not going to get the rest of the passes on the map. Also good grief, there's nothing happening. Alright, since I'm controlling one dude again and actually have a choice of passes, maybe I will turn back on Curse. After all, I did beat it with Antonio team. Which should be fine, but also that means it's going to be five stages once more. That means it's going to be 20 a video, which means this one's going to be up to 909 as seen on the thumbnail. Out of 1,955, still not even halfway through. And then again, I still might need that delicious, delicious not curse. Just look at them getting rolled does limit my strategy and my options, but at least some of those go around. Wings is worthless as is mostly a tracked orb unless it lands on the character I'm controlling. The next one's going to be on Dairy Plant. It's going to be Antonio taking the lead. I'm controlling him. Whoever is going to be under control is going to be the big one on the thumbnail. And everyone else whose background noise is going to be small. Also means I have a ability to actually select Arcana that aren't Crystal Cries. As by controlling one character, I can actually do things. Instead of just trying to bumble bump my way around. Well, granted, it's inlay library. I don't have to like focus on other characters. It'll be amazing when I get to Cosmo. He's gonna go nuts. Maybe I'll actually take it off of random stuff. Okay, I was sort of expecting the rest of them to have been dead at this point. I think I didn't take off that empty tome. That would have been horrific. Horrific. I should be fine-tuning the passes a bit more to the map. After all, I can still pick up Mad Groove. I can still pick up Mad Groove. Boy, is that going to be a nightmare if I do pick up Mad Groove. The Groove, it's so mad. Man, without moving on the map, there's very little to talk about. Especially on Inlay Library. Oh, let's see how long I can dodge those Inlantians then. Then I got Hollow Hearts, that's Bloody Terror. And Sonic Bloom will turn into Wave Cannon at one point. Almost 40, so... This is the much smarter idea. And while I could just go back to one character, five stages per video, the way Ponkel releases things, 
the rate at which the team does it. It's just too much for just one character, no matter how much I start stuffing it. Even if I'd gone like five and then seven in order to just clear it out in two more uses of characters, that's still going to be like a hundred more videos to go through. Or hundred plus days and bound to be another over 200. Let's get this done before the end of the year, perhaps. Or before, you know, I'm forced out on the street and die horribly. No place is ever going to get back to me on my job applications. They never have and they never will. Yeesh. I'm almost annoyed how well this is going considering how much I struggled with full teams under control. I guess constantly running them into the enemy it doesn't help for their survivability, that's for sure. Oh, what do you think about that World of Warcraft story instead of actually talking about Vampire Survivors? Like, there's only so much I can talk about at this point. I'm over 260 videos in. 279 videos in. 280, actually. Because I had that crotchy... Oh, 281, because unlocking Dark Arcana, too. Hey, Duplicator. Yeah, that's the evolution. Uh, I do not have my whip evolved, so let's hold off a bit on grabbing it. Valero would have been a good idea to start with, too, but I did not want to have any trouble to start with. No XP for poor Antonio here. Man, they just keep eating all the NFTs for no reason. It's a funky day. I was expecting this to be a bit more paunchy, but I guess in late library can only put up so much of a fight. And yet I still lost with Gavin only so many times. Because he's so pathetic. Well, I did have curse, but still. I'm only five on the weapon. My whip is going. Some of those red and gems. There's a second chest. That means there's a second reward. Or a second chance. Oh, right. You have to select them for some reason. A lot of good options, but I think I actually will go with Bolero for more chesting. And it gets me more passes. In fact, if I go with Bolero, I could probably just grab all the passes I wanted. Have all the passes every time. Or heck, if I just go Hail to the Future, that would happen by default. 56. Man, I got a lot of levels. Oh, chest time. Well, mostly worthless attract orb. Yeah, that's not a bad level, all things considered. Yep, you're not going down. I'm not touching the other controllers except to hit A, or control things. Oh, not Antonio, nice. Still only five on the whip. Nice empty tome, though. Oh, I suppose I could hit start on them to see where they are. But I'm not failing the challenge. Or, well, whatever passes for a challenge with this. And a weapon pickup, nice. Now keep Antonio beefing. And it means it's one of his weapons that gets upgraded. The crown and whip. Woohoo. Levels are always good. Love that level. I could just go into uh, gimmicky stuff. In fact, I'll probably have to do gimmicky stuff for the last runs. And there's a wings. I mean, it's only the one level since it's banished. So it's just free. Free. Yeesh, they haven't gone down once. In the library, you're pathetic. Yep, update. Oh, no, it's not getting levels, though.
And the gun is up to five. There's Bonus Arcana. Or Pascalina again. It's blue for some reason. Alright. Uh, Mad Grubin. That sounds like a terrible idea. Bloody tear. Woohoo, now I'm invincible. Mask is banished, so it just can't be nothing. Two don't matter anymore. Or maybe... Oh, you actually endured that. Huh. Heck, maybe I should grab the others. I got enough firepower, apparently, to wipe out the alliances with no trouble. And I can just lure them into the infinite death beam. I'll run out of stuff to pick up eventually. Oh, I can get no future. Oh, also. Turns out that Melo Mania actually didn't beat Polis Replica. I guess it was Sioto Moon to sell Val Megalo form. So I went and did 889 for her off camera because meh. I mean, sure, it got a lot of views, but only a minute average view. Clearly, I must talk more. My strange, terrible voice. Vampire survivors. And yet, it got a subscriber. Also, please let me know how the new post time is treating you down below in the comment section. Are you enjoying the Beswick? I certainly hope someone is. The constant, endless silence is eroding. I think the streams are doing slightly better. No reward on the chest. Wait, one more tap of A. Or I guess B would work as two if I'm feeling especially daring. Dude, quadruple chest. Or quintuple chest. Yep, this is not going well for the bad guys. Heck, even crab battle can't stop me now. Yeesh, how is this so much easier? I guess Empty Tome guaranteed is just that powerful. Whoever could have guessed that the most powerful passive in the game was a detriment to losing. And I got a tier Jisoo too. My two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 16. 16 base passives. Or it should be 16 base passives anyway. I've gotten all the good ones. Chests everywhere. Give me more chests. Yeesh. Almost comical. Heck, it is comical. Oh boy. Look, I ran out of things to talk about a hundred plus videos ago. Can't expect me to do much more. Especially when the gameplay is just Antonio running around nonsensically. Not really doing anything. I was expecting there to be a bit more, like I would actually have to play. But no. You should maybe I should do more no move challenges. Three of them are no move challenges. Hey. And a box.
I mean, I could just get paranormal scanner from a super candy box. Let's get Ventro Sacro. If someone else grabbed it, didn't they? No. No, there it is. I just missed it horribly. Heck, I could go death killing. Oh, sweet Chesto. Oh, my Arcano. Yes, power up more, Antonio. 24 minutes of nonsense. Goody goody drum drops. Hey, any chests that go outside my bounds are gonna be picked up by the mad Grooving. Ah, chest gem, you have returned. More weapon pickups are fine. Hey, I got wave beam. Now I can not move even better. I mean, heck, they'll just mad groove up all the stuff, so that's fine for me. That was, that was a nice big fat stack of levels there. Really delicious water I just drank. Boy, I have so many more of these to go. So very, very many to go. Wait, what did you get stuck on? What could you possibly have gotten stuck on? Why aren't the chesty faulty to helping Antonio? Oh. I think there's all these chests coming around. I'll probably start with Bolero then. I mean, since I can actually, you know, move, sort of. It'll be very helpful. Then I end up with all the passives anyway. Get a chest, Antonio. Oh. Guess they're just limit breaking like mad over there. Heck, I actually got pretty close to 100k. Found this complete nonsense. Well, I hope to get that Giovanna. Well, the Genevieve and Luminaire combo off. One vacuums, the other rosaries. They'll kill faster than anything. If it goes fast enough. Right? Right? Alright, here comes death. Yay, death. Well, let's get all these gems first. I have another revive. 184, that's not bad. 1.9 million on the wave beam, 1.3 on the no future, 4.9 on the millionaire, 3.6, 36.3 on the photon storm. What a shock. More Vampire Survivors Beswick time. Antonio's taking the Moonlight Bolero to the dairy plant. With Gennaro, Arca, and Porta instead. That's how it's going to be done. One main character, and then his five tagalongs. There are three tagalongs for five videos. And I will be keeping tra track of this as well on the back end. To make sure that these characters fit up appropriately for their five levels. Going to be a rough one. But it'll be worth it. And of course, the one character that doesn't need, or that doesn't need health, it's it. That pet. That pet. Oh, lizard man. Lizard man. I got. F no, I don't have fire one. I have greatest jubilee. That's actually really good. Right, 
Come on, goblin. Get smacked. There we go. You've been smacked. Uh, fire wand is not helpful. I don't know how he survived so long compared to the others, but... Right, time for a vacuum. Even if Antonio goes down, or whoever I'm controlling goes down, I will not be switching over. They'll live or die. Hmm. I don't know, maybe Silent Old Sanctuary was the better option. I mean, of course, it's the better option, but... Eh, I really would have to rely on luck to get some good stuff. That's never a good thing you want. At least I'm smacking them good and plenty. If only there were some chickens. Then it would be no issue. I mean, my top clearance is pretty okay. And, of course, there's shooters that spawn in right when I needed to not have something like that happen. They're, they get a stat boost when they get bigger. I don't think they do. Antonio's got the heart. Big heart. Antonio. Oh, he's Grace Jubilee is keeping me in this somewhat. Oh, thank you. Yay. Double yay. I don't know what caused that, but I'll take it. Maybe it was just the phase ending. Yay, more! More Logan, yes. Yes, yes. If I can get one of the eyeballs down, that's some sweet, sweet chest action. A guaranteed level. Up on something. Maybe it'll something actually be helpful, too. Ooh, the whip's almost maxed out. I can just get Bloody Tear, and it's basically Victory March 2. Ooh, NFT. Lucky, lucky Fire Breath. Woohoo, random events. The only way I'm getting through this. Weapon pickup. Not a bad thing to get. And since you're the one that's open most, so... Yahoo! Get a leaf. Sweet. Might is good. A lot of might is even better. And there's an early Arcana chest. Well, not early, but eventually it came. What's that I see before me? Is it a sanctuary that's silent and old? Yes, indeed it is. And I might fall back on the same Arcana issues. Like last time, same ones. Well, then again, I don't need what's around the map other than... Everything else was just coming through the Bolero chest, so I could grab another... I don't know. That's helpful. That fire missed. Pretty good. I mean, the Metaglio is really worth it. But also, I can't grab, like, the Candle Labrador anyway, because I'm not moving Gennaro. The narrow bell piece. Ooh, another timely oral Logan. More timely oral Logans. I suppose all oral Logans are timely, if you think about it. They are all, after all, pocket watches. Yahoo, we got crown here. Princess Porta. Of Porta Kingdom. And even more Orologian. 
Well, having five characters worth a lock does tend to do that. Or four characters worth a lock. Why do I keep saying five? Because I'm going for five maps. Thankfully, this will take out a lot of the longer ones, as it were. Well, I suppose I'll start it wherever this one ends with whoever is the next open fiver, and then sort of weirdly shallop my way around. This is going to be so awkward, and it's going to be even more awkward on my end, because, well, there's 83 characters. That doesn't divide evenly. 83 characters left to beat every stage with. That doesn't buy evenly with four. The one's gonna be a group of three. A deadly group of three. Fifteen stages for that one. More arcana chests, more! Uh, no, I want Sapphire Mist. And that turns into a normal chest, like a jerk. Wonder if I'd done it the other way, it would have been fine. More attacks with weapon. No, nope, no Vento Sacro into Walla Walla here. Or no candy box into Vento Sacro. No, Gennaro's gonna go down and stop the protection of the others. Truly, I am lost. What do I need? More attract orb. Yay, attract orb. Vacuum. Strangely, in the exact same space the original vacuum was. Oh. I can actually tell when it's firing off the Sapphire Mist. Sapphire Mist, Sapphire Mist. Because you can watch... Yep, there it was. It just fired off. Antonio's Sapphire Mist double attack. With the bloody tear. Probably the easiest one to one of the easiest ones to tell. Also, I should really cut down the passives to a guaranteed eight to make sure I always get empty tomb. That way, I don't have to worry about other horrible, horrible things like not getting empty tomb. Man, wouldn't that be awful? Almost like I. Suffered for that for forever. Uh oh. Got a stalker on the loose. And they are not surviving that. Thankfully, stalkers slow down considerably in multiplayer for whatever reason. Probably because it's horrifically brutal as it is. Or the curse is really doing it. Because I've taken off all my curse. And Port is back on her feet. You know how long that lasts. Getting A so they don't start disconnecting. Halfway through. Bit of a dicey start, but it's coming around. My crystal cries. I would take those hits so I could get some crystal crying. But I don't. I'm not. Hey, and you got Rosarita off. Yeah, some Hellfire. Oh, that spiral will happen. Uh, as will Thunderloop. As obviously seen on TV. Or probably commuter monitor. And there's my death spiral, or I guess Arca's death spiral. Oh, they lasted a lot better than I thought. I mean, sure, they went down and burned a ton of lives, but hey. They're still here, fighting the good fight. I'm out here, fighting the bad fight. Good grief, five videos, is, five stages is gonna take forever. But a sweet, sweet 20 off the of Beswick. I want to be a few more videos after this and I'll be halfway and then I'll be in the four digits the four digits over halfway
If I'm getting 20 videos out a day, not even Ponkle can stop me. With a new DLC, that'll probably come out. I mean, November or December? Well, hmm. October for Spookemoth. Spookemoth. Oh yeah, I need to see about getting Doki Doki Literature Club downloaded. Yay! A vacuum. Oh, I even got... I even got the BFC. Incredible. Wait. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I can manipulate the BFCs to hit more by going over here. Because one of their issues is other stuff killing them before they get their ludicrous hits in. Or probably should do it on the right. Feels like they hit on the right more often. Well, granted, if it's on the edge of the screen, it's kind of hard to tell if it's doing real damage anyway. Yeah, there might be some four-digit hits in there. I can't tell. Oh, wow. Antonio got hit by something really dangerous. wonder what that was. Is there a boss over here? Well, there was, there was, there is not anymore. I got a fourth Arcana yet? No. Oh, hey, some armor dropped here. Where is it at? Huh? There's a chest, there's another chest. That must be the Arcana chest. Wait, those were both. Both those ones that dropped earlier were not Arcana chests, or... They were Arcana chests, but they were both from the random event. Not from the time. From the Bolero, not from the timer. And where is this suit of armor at? Oh, it's down below me. Can I reach it? I cannot actually reach it. Must have been on one of Antonio's southern excursions. More chest. More chest, but I don't think there's anything to get out of the chest. Yeah, force the screen south more. I want that armor. No, well, not unless I'm getting an Arcana. Will it happen? Boy, that would be neat to get an Arcana chest when I blare from the start. Well, getting your other Arcanas early does certainly help, eh? More, more, more glorious aura, Logian. Aura, 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 Logian. Aura, Logian. Eh, doesn't roll off the tongue as easily as Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Does it. Chesto pick up, oh. Candy box a grab, -o. Armadillo, you're a mino. Yes, racer. I mean, it will evolve at a thousand edge. Not that it really matters at this point. And slightly does increase the size of my weapon. In a very awkward winner. Winner. Gemmin. j j j -gemin. Hey, what? How did you get a chest? Oh. At least you got what you needed in life. A thousand knives. Still don't know if that's a reference to actually a thousand knives. I mean, I don't have any giant gun the size of your hand. Speed break. Nope. Oral Logan, though, man, there's so many Oral Logans for not having out of bounds. Crazy. Oh, I do have luck in. Wait, it's 100. 40. Okay, I guess luck only affects the. and growth only affects the controller. Huh. I didn't, I didn't turn sheer passive off by accident, did I? 
His armor certainly does. Here. It's effects. I guess maybe it's just the first couple. And I have more NFT. Okay, this is turning out to be way easier than I was expecting. Right from that little romp at the start. And that's hopefully what you want vampire survivors to be easy at one point. Still. Not actively controlling these characters, and yet it's still going easier than it was normally when I was trying to move. Maybe that was the issue. Just camping out so much safer than that whole... Also, that's the blade crossbow jerk in there. That doesn't... not what the BFCs look like. You can see it right next to them. Huh. So what's up with my kills? Why have they stopped? Am I just not doing any damage anymore? Huh. Awkward. Or Logan. Yeah, I guess they just battered out that much. And it's time for some robot. Robot. Man, well, without the curse, they just can't get in, huh? And I got duration. Duration. The victory of duration. My Antonio's going down pretty hard, but it doesn't matter. Oh, hey, armor. Yay, that'll make the difference here. Truly an unmatched foreseen circumstance. And death is frozen solid. Oh yeah, 6.2 on the Jubilee. 1.3 on the BFC. Big frickin' crossbow, 6.9 on Death Spiral, and 5.8 on Thunderloop. Time for more Vampire Survivors. 270, whatever number this is. 279, Beswick, beating every stage with every character. Antonio leads the charge on Gallo Tower. Moonlight Bolero, Dark Arcana, Dark Kazo. Let's get some chest in action. And yes, that is Karachi there as character number four. And Melda's actually finally getting stage in. Boy, is having to keep track of this in multiple different ways is going to be really annoying really quickly. Ooh, tongue in action. Maybe I grab Crystal Cries. It scales off recovery. And I did not mess around with my seals, so... That's a problem. Who knows if I'll get the mini. I didn't banish any minis or anything else, because, well, it's not like... You know... The Academy badge shows up anyway. Oh, Pascalina got beaten up. Melda should be mostly fine. What with starting with a maxed empty tome? Be pretty helpful. And yes, she is player two despite being third on the left for whatever reason. Let's lure this eyeball down. Well, you're just gonna NFT. Ah, yes, that's very helpful when you can't move. Truly, really the hardest character to do a no move challenge with is actually Conchetto. Oh no, cats. Who got the cats? Karachi got the cats. He's Karachi because this is the first time he's being used in a while. I will be keeping an entirely separate non Beswick list of who is, you know, completed X amount of stages, so that way I know who to get dropped down to to grab. That's sort of going to be weird, is that I'm not going to Melda for tomorrow's video. It's probably going to be like someone else down, like maybe even a heck llama. And then it'll be Imelda, blah blah blah, going on and so forth. Try and get things done in a very awkward fashion. More, more stuff. More, more, more treasure goblin. Give me your chest, treasure goblin. I need it. It's all I have in my life. Is these treasure chests. And Antonio still has not picked up a passive, but I did it hollow heart again, so fine. It's all good. All good. Man. 
You know, walking into a candelabra door will be so damaging. Like not even knocking it over, just walking into it while it's still there. And that's horrifying. At least I can clear out most of these with Antonio Bellpiece and his magic merry group of siblings. Well, one sibling, two siblings. Or maybe possibly cousins. But definitely related. Also, Crotchy's here. He's feeling quite free to. Uh oh. Hey, mini. Big. No, mini imposter. I'm getting the imposter tongue. And we'll get bloody tear eventually. And I'm actually recording this a decent amount of time before it goes up. Perhaps I'll even get the Legendary 2 videos done before it goes up. Sure would be nice, considering I have to donate tomorrow. Hey, armor. Which is in the care of Pascalina, who is not moving. Nope, even though I'm not moving, you ever. You will die where you live. Bad. I can't grab it with Antonio and have it count towards them. Nice. Good old vacuum action. Yeah, there's nothing actually vacuum where I'm living right now. I mean, I guess I could vacuum the curtains. That seems really dumb. Oh, I should have saved that for Drowner showing up. Melda survived for now, but then final waves are going to get beefier. And dangerous, sir. So oh, dangerous. Time. Here's my sanctuary. My silent old sanctuary. Oh, goody, another rosary. And what do I want for my third? Final waves can get meaty. So perhaps grabbing some Cerebonde of Healing or even an Awake. Wow, that changed the paradigm considerably. Off my hand, Nat or Fly or whatever you are. More importantly, off my arm, not my hand. Even though they tend to get blurred some days. Rachi is not feeling it. The Demon Prince of Heaven. Been having better days. Good, another vacuum. We love vacuum. Vacuum for justice. Well, my kill count is quite low for wanting to hit an RNK before I end a mission. On the other hand, it's quite high considering I don't have any dang curse going on, aside from what's natural to Crotchy, I think. Gimme armor! Gimme armor! Uh, six on the whip. Bloody Terror is just around the corner. When she comes. Bloody Terror around the corner. When she comes. She'll be bloody tearing around the corner. She'll be bloody tearing around the corner. She'll be bloody tearing around the corner when she comes. Alrighty, Pescalina, what are you picking? Nothing, apparently, because it's... Huh. I moved the controller. Maybe I need to hit someone else's. Oh, Sapphire Cry is also a good one. You know, I think I want to paunch it up a bit more. Get some funky, funky Crystal Cries a going. Now it's hard action. Yeah, that's why I wanted Crystal Cries, because I have a tongue. A tongue that scales off recovery. I get recovery from these hearts. Also, something is freezing these. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see what else to grab. Do I have many ghosts? No, I really just get that many kills off of pure... Something is freezing. Something is definitely freezing, too. I don't know what, but it is. There are hearts where there shouldn't be. Holy wand. Probably should have waited till there were a bit more enemies on screen so I could get the freeze chest. Is it really just freeze chest and doing it? Or was it level ups? Not on menu freeze. Well, get all the hearts I can. And then, possibly... Get mad groove so I can get my tag though left. Rising lack of extra chests from the Bolero and Actually now that I think about it, the Bolero and co-op with it. Surprisingly what the heck are the harpies doing? Why are they getting stuck on this statue? Because the Bolero chests also freeze, so not a bad combo with Crystal Cries, incidentally. Man, them cats are biting hard. Oh, bye-bye, Crotchy. Yep. Yeah. His damage is going ripping. Back here, cat. Cat! Cat! Oh. Say bye-bye, runner boy. Hey, heaven sword. What did the cats eat? No future for you. More, more crystal hearts. I want the most recovery. 1.9 is not enough. Cosmo could get that in a minute. No, there's only so much you can do without a tracked orb. Oh, Antonio did get Pomerola. Everyone has the benefits, but still. I have it. Yay, mini. Condensing down. Hey, duplicator. Nice. A duplicator for me, a duplicator for you. Oh, armor's maxed out because it's no longer here. Yeah, I'm on the three recovery train. My tongue is good and blopping. And they get frozen from that. I mean, they play the freeze animation, but the game can be very inconsistent if whether that counts or not. No, I want loot to freeze with chest power. Maybe I should go Wicked Season with Crystal Cries. Ooh. Do Inverse. Get the immediate. Can I even reach Merchant? Yeah. Do immediate Crystal Cries. Wicked Season. With Cosmo. Uh oh. Oh good, you're going after Antonio. Not the guys who aren't moving. Let's get Impasta tongued away already, would you? We don't, we don't need to deal with your nonsense. Myung's turn will be here soon enough. Uh oh, I got stuck on something. Wait, are you defanged? No, nope, not defanged. Not doing much damage, but not defanged. Well, at least they still freeze even if it's a money chest. Money, money, money! Money! Just... I'm only at three hearts. Because I'm not really actually getting hit hard enough. 
Arctic. Spawn enough. Also, I don't have really have any freeze stuff. All in the chest. Good thing the cats can't grab the hearts. Indirect buff to Giovanna. Dang it, with a boss one. The boss went down in no time. Yeesh, did Imelda ever even go down? Up, but down. I didn't check to see. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on, I bother there. You're, you're not supposed to survive this long. Give me your sweet, sweet loot. That's not really that sweet. I guess it increases the hit zone of the tongue. The Antonio tongue. Pasta tongue now. Sharp tongue by default. You know, I keep calling it by default the impasta tongue. Because it comes from the imposter. Reina. Reina imposter. He's still not up to four hearts yet. More. Man, how many did I go to get? Need to get up there. Do I need to reach three? I think it's like point zero zero one. It takes like ten hearts to get point zero one. It'd be good if things were freezing more. But they're not. Endure, endure, endure the worst of the world. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Man, I just went silent for no reason there. I have to fill every bit of time with as much content as possible. Vampire Survivor, you are amazing game. Post October. Man, I'm almost done going down. That spell string is firing out something fierce. Man, it's not even spell string. It, yeah, it is spell string. And a spell string and holy wand, so it looks really crazy fast. Still crazy fast, but really crazy fast. Hey, a chest. Hey, a crown. Yep, chickens or cats picked up some chickens somewhere. Huh, how did Crotchy die? That seems concerning. Guess the cats just did enough or something. Heck, is that happening on the right there? Oh, that's cat scratch effect without the cats having their dust cloud pop out. Huh, weird. Yeah, I can't get that chest over there. It'd be really neat to have. Just run out of bounds yet. There's a lot of hearts here. Well, at least I get more chests. Hey, where did that come from? Well, I'm mightier now. That actually does so much too, geez. I don't even, well, it might have maxed it out. Hard to tell sometimes. All right, time for the final death waves. All right, let's see what you got in against Antonio. Hey, Arcana chest. Uh, da, 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 da. No, I want a GL crystal because I got holy wand and holy wand, and it's funny. No, it won't really matter anymore at this point. Or apparently it will because it fires off a billion shots. I mean, Antonio's unkillable at this point. Anything short of death.
speaking of death, there is the Reaper. Oh, I guess Melda did go down and Stalker shows up too. Almost a billion on the Imposta Tongue without even that much effective stuff going on. Nothing else is going to compare to that. Not even combined. The Bone Zone, attempt number three. This time with some Silent Old Sanctuary action. Yeah, screw the Bone Zone. Screw it hard and screw it fast. Oh, this is already considerably better. Yep, that should have been my choice. I should not have gotten greedy with the Bolero. I wanted them chests. I wanted that early evolution. That was never going to come. I get seven minutes in and it barely killed a thousand enemies. Bye bye to Mario. Wait, what? How did you dodge that without moving? You achieved Zen. Zen lost zone zero. Oh, maybe I'll get... Oh, I keep forgetting to banish the guns. The first one was lost because of guns. The second one was lost because of bullets. Boy, do the enemy bullets do way too much damage too quickly. Where's my garlic? I want my garlic shield. Yep, turns all... Oh, Antonio has... Cracked orb. And... Crown. That's very good. That's very helpful. In fact, it's so helpful, it's concerning. Good thing I'm not doing this in verse, that'd be horrifying. Beyond horrifying. Hey, look, more light source random event for like the eighth time. I'm not even kidding, it just keeps happening over and over and over again. Well, the Mario should be mostly fine, frankly, outside the boss. Heck, if I just park Antonio here, he should mostly have the top taken care of as well. And I keep forgetting to select things correctly. Sure would be nice to have empty tome. Was that shadow pinion shot? That was weird looking. Maybe it was one of the skeletons at an odd angle. Yep, Pascalina's down again. Mario is perfectly healthy and kind of protecting Gennaro, and Gennaro's kind of helping protect Demario. Oh, a bit more area. Maybe you can protect multiple ones, old man. Oh man, when blood skeletons are taking multiple hits, you know things aren't good. And when this happens, you know it's even worse. Look at how fast my health get down, because those bullets are ridiculous. Stop shooting off camera. Yep, even Demario just fell. Oh, good grief. Oh my god. And an early stalker from the random events. It's like a cornucopia of nonsense. All stacked together. Screw me over. Sure, I have four characters worth of positive luck, but a chicken event? Why would I need that? Would only be helpful. Or an NFT event. That would have been amazing when I had Bolero and Arcana Chests both time. Arcana Goblins both time, so finally some good luck. Well, I've been this far before. Will I get on any further? Yeah, they're just spawning on top of me. That's what caused me to lose Antonio's first life last time. Just spawning on me. It's really annoying. What was that? Dash. Oh, also I wanted to turn down the volume on this mic too, but oh well. No one's watching this far anyway. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. You know I'm... Not a good thinker when I'm keep going on. Such a failure of a series. Boom, 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 boom.
And you get less views than your videos, than your length of the video. Oh, you're in for a bad, bad, no one likes you time. Well, thankfully got the streaming crew. I know you're never going to watch this side of it, but thanks for showing around still, guys. I truly do appreciate it. For however long I can keep this going. You just turn your target around. Uh, oh, hey, I got a boss down. Well, at least I don't have to worry about a lot of things right now. Yep, one more level on the whip and I can evolve. And with Bloody Tear, that will make this considerably simpler a prospect to finish. Also, I'm 38. Whip maxed out. Woohoo! Now I just need to take down the boss in here. That's Arcana Skull. Which will be very helpful soon enough. And of course, I picked up Bracer along the way. But no empty tome. Docker? No. We have boundaries. We have rules. We have a restraining order. Respect the restraining order. Back that! Oh boy, look at all that nonsense that just popped up on screen. Crab battle. Crab battle. The invasion of crabs just never stops. This Antonio is going to do a chunk of damage. If only I could stay still and thwack the boss. That wasn't a boss crab, that was just a bit of an average crab. Well, all that might comes together. Wait, where did my chickens go? I feel like I should have more chickens than this. Oh good grief, still nothing down. Candy box. A c -c candy box. Wait, did you just go off the bottom of the screen and... Ugh. Really boss nonsense. Okay, how about... We get something... Nice in here. I know. Clock lance, it would be amazing. Very amazing. Man, I've hit them so much too. And of course a rush of skulls just pushes it into my path. And I can't even complain about the luck this time. I'm actually getting some. I just can't get the things I need dead. Dead in a proper time. And jumping in the middle of the skulls is an issue, too. Why won't you go down, boss? It's been six minutes since you've spawned in. I know I've hit you a good chunk of that. Even the Arcana skull won't go down. Uh-oh, they're getting beefier that even Antonio was struggling. Oh my god. Why won't you die already? They're so durable for no reason. Why are they still alive? Why are you still here? One of you is just a frickin' Arcana Skull. And they just keep getting pushed around wildly, too. Die! All of you just die! Why are you still alive? How are you still possibly alive? No. 
I don't have hollow heart. I don't have hollow heart. I do have crystal cries. And that will be enough. And well, if I get Blair at one point, that'll fix things. That'll fix things nice and plenty. Huh. I guess it's just the first one after. Why are you making me hit one of theirs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really should have gotten that collection sorted out. Well, this will go just as swimmingly as it possibly could. Now, at this point, and no others. And what do I got for the passives? Uh, in the Labrador, Pumrola, and Spellbinder. That's about it for not terribles. And I still only at one heart. I think I got that candy box. This Crystal Cries Clock Lancet is what's going to be keeping me in the fight. No Merchant, no. Certainly not not having Bloody Tear. Oh, it's up to two. Well, it's coming up faster than it should be. Actually, I'm fine just taking the damage. There's more than enough here to... That was really risky and I probably shouldn't have done it. Oh no, they're surviving way too many hits. Well, that's bad. That's impeccably bad. Why is there only one layer of the sh towers? Oh no, Antonio made it through. If I can get Sarabande on the back end, that'll make me unstoppable. Even though I only have one revive. I have no revives. I wasted my revive. Hey, a knife. Arcana skull. Arcana skull. You have the laurel? Well, that explains some things. More chest. More action. I'm not having to have armor. And it's just like a cavalcade of nonsense that's not helpful. And Stalker showed back up, cause why not? Oh, chest. Oh man, that's so many shots, that's crazy. Uh oh. Not a good time when the character you need to revive is not alive. Well, thankfully there's more than enough on the map. Keep me in play. Sure would be nice for these dang boss skulls to, you know, not have problems. Or, you know, not be super, super insanely durable. I'm just staying here and burning you to ash, Arcana Skull. I'm getting my Cerebonde and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Five health, nothing is stopping this. And once more, feeling that attract orb, that attract orb, punching it good. And it turns them all into damage, too. Yay, damage! I love damage. Wait, did the bullets count? Huh. And it's still not gone. Crazy. 
Oh, the bullets turn into hearts too. Weird. Yeah, I guess they just have to be coded as enemies so the game works correctly. All these chickens with this much recovery and this stupid skeleton is still not dead again. Quit it. Quit being alive, dead. Undead. Come back alive. Oh man, if only I could redirect that NFT. Or... I could do that. Bye-bye, you joink. Oh, chest for other characters. They existed at one point, you know? tony has got so much health that even... Even 600 health is still being punched down. And not an considerable amount. Up to eights. The updates and almost done with Antonio's wild ride. Hey, NFT in. Man with Cosmos is gonna go nuts beyond belief. Yay, Cosmo. Did the Dark Arcana exist when I did Cosmos Tuxton? I think. Yeah, I was a bit in. No, Dark Arcana's interrupted the third wave second volley thing. Oh, sweet, sweet death. One point eight million. Mm. You two did nothing. It's boss rash time in the Vampire Survivors Best with Antonio Balpice and screw everyone else. I'm going mad groove. Get a tracked orb. All for Antonio. All for Antonio. Not you. Well, no levels wasted on that. Does get Antonio. Why the heck is it so finicky? See if I can save that rosary for later. Oh, damn. Atlanteans get bigger, too. So, yeah. A lot of characters have done boss rash at this point. Antonio was not one of them, neither was Gennaro. But, everyone till Clarici and Pagnola was. You know, this may have been a bit arrogant. But, I will say, it was 100% arrogant. Oh yes, that happened. And I waste my rosary. On the other hand, chess galore. And they can just get as many weapon pickups as they want. That will be helpful in its own way. That's a boss. That's a boss dust elemental. Wow, you got both guns. You're Pugnala. Makes sense, yeah, you have both guns. After all, where else would they go? No, generally not a good sign when you're not taking out a Melisse in one hit. Of course, the sheer number of them has its own issues. Ooh, whoever could have seen that. So big, Gorgon. Eh, doesn't help that I got a very awful weapon here. And pickups seem to not want to be responding. Oh, there's that aura Logan. Sure would help if there were normal mobs and not Melise. You know, because then I could actually get something. Oh, hey, neat. 
Oh, hey, a green mask. That's so valuable. Kind of been duplicator or something, huh? Hey, a vacuum. Well, I got a lot of luck. Maybe it'll come back to me. Can't even clear out the Melise. Oh, nope, that's helpful. That is less so. In fact, this is dumb because I just used up a lot of healing for nothing. Boy, I was hoping I would have more effect on this. First, my insatiable greed for pickups. Uh, and they're all getting pushed by other bosses. Goal is to survive, not to kill. Survive, not kill. Occasionally things are spawning in that die. And I'm very slowly getting XP out of it. Only it was the ding. Arcana. Whatever it's gonna be. Reaper, bat, plant, thing. There it goes. Get some cries of crystal. Well, this is not as many as I was hoping for, but hey. Any is better than none. Alright, weapon pickups for everyone. Oh man, I gotta lead them in the fire. A half a second, that's gonna still be around. What was that? Oh, right. I know what that was. That was failure. Wait. Ever failure. Why are you lasting so long? Oh, was my light source getting pulled away by a mad Groovin? Hey, vacuum. Too bad that's not gonna be doing anything. Oh, hey, a very lucky rosary. Free! Free, free, free. Hey, Cerebande, you're looking real nice right now. More chess, more chess for Antonio. Why? I said Antonio, not Clarici. Why do I have seven revivals? Um. Okay. Bracelet. Oh, right, because of the pickups from from the weapon pickups. Huh. So the sheer greed actually paid off, and I am not going to go down to those dang robots. No, not by any case. Oh, that's a big ender. And it's still attacking even when frozen. How annoying. Eventually, you'll just get enough that you can just heal off it with no issue. I said I'm not controlling them. I have no control over them doing this. Ha 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 ha. Gotta deal with what works. Gotta go with what works.
Yeah, they must have a lot of duration. Three on Spellbinder. And there's worse numbers for it. And it's got a full health. Man, it lasts long enough that someone else comes back and at full health. And then... Heck, with Crystal Cries, can you even really lose here? I'm trying at this point. I'm trying, and I still can't. Yeah, let's... And there's the real Reaper here to stop us all. But he can't. That was terrible scoring. Without any chance. Without any chance. And thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivors Beswick. 279. That's 20 more stage character combinations done. That brings us up to 908 in total. And leaves us at a grand total of 1,040 to go. Only three more days till that's in the triple digits. So we're halfway done. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Tomorrow, it's going to be Llama, since everyone above him or her has completed things. And then I'll be just sort of working the way down. Starting with Whiteout, continuing on in very strange, using setups. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Thank you anyone who has liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed. The support keeps me going. Please do so if you haven't. Either way, I hope you have a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick. Beat every stage with every character.